Regarding masking children, it has been an unfortunate developmental interference. Thankfully, children are resilient. Perhaps they will develop a keen sense of communication that relies on sound and presence in lieu of visual input. What are your thoughts on this? The interference of technology is equally harmful. Eyes always on the phone. I, I agree with with all of that to a point, right? Like children are incredibly resilient, incredibly flexible, um, incredibly anti fragile, until they're not. And there's you know there's a I don't even know if this is the phrase the term that's still used in psychology, but it used to be called like a critical period. Right? There's like a critical period for you know language learning, for uh, you know for learning of particular physical like gross motor versus fine motor skills. Like there's there's a particular optimal moment during development uh, when if you don't get exposed to the thing, um, maybe it's going to be much harder to learn it. And then at some point, if you still haven't been exposed to it, maybe you can't anymore. And so I would say that um, we are definitely, you know, depending on the ages of the kids and whether or not, you know, what kinds of families they lived in such that they were ever seeing faces outside of maybe their parents that weren't masked um, for two years. Um, that's going to be some potentially very serious disability that results. Um, with regard to you know high school age kids like like our kids, um, it has a different it, you know there's there, there's no critical period right they're they're well past that with regard to um, to like language development and such. But in terms of social cues, as all sorts of stuff is coming online around um, relationships and um, coming to feel like that's your, your security blanket, like, oh, if I don't have my mask on, I'm somehow naked and I don't really want to be out in the world without it, um, that's going to create admittedly lower level of, of um, traumas and frankly disabilities for kids to be dealing with well i disagree with you that our kids are done with critical periods i, I remember several periods in which they were very critical and <laughs> anyway you just sort of live through it right it's a week and it's over um but <clears throat> the here's the thing they're really not like that what they're really not, they're really like not. It's not you know every so often they wake up on the wrong side of the bed but it's sure. not it's not common uh the masks and the disruption of the normalcy of reading facial stuff is going to be a huge deal, yeah. right? Hopefully it results in some kind of awareness and hopefully we actually come to figure out how to test how much damage was done because one of the things that will be tempting yeah. here is to bury that information and pretend it wasn't harmful. Right. Uh, and one other thing I wanted to say, oh, yes. There is potentially, there are two possible silver linings here, though. Okay. One is that when these kids realize how badly they were betrayed with this mask thing, it's going to give them a generational problem with authority, which mm. could be very useful at fixing planet Earth. So anyway, I'm kind of hoping that, okay. that that happens. And the other thing is... I've made <clears throat> the argument that learning disabilities aren't a good thing, but that what they do is they open the door to something. Once you're disrupted in your normal acquisition of the usual stuff that comes in school, if school is passing on bad stuff and you've been disrupted, it can it can uh, free you from it. We write we write this in, in the book in the school chapter, I think, or maybe it's the childhood chapter, but. Um... The disruption itself isn't inherently good, but um, being outside of the structures that everyone else is naturally falling into is a gift. Yeah, right. Like an entire generation of non-normies. I, I could be, I could be into seeing that generation. Yeah. 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 N no, no NPC generation. Yeah. There you go. No NPCs. No normies. Okay. Yep. Can you speak on the physiological dangers of wearing a mask? For example, when we exhale, we do exhale carbon dioxide, but we also exhale broken cell particles, bacteria, viral particles, and other waste matter. I haven't seen research on this, but I wonder the same thing. I mean, I think I think your question reveals what the possibility is, and I don't I don't know. Well, <clears throat> I'm a little bit dubious about this because okay. although it's certainly true, we are also so <clears throat> radically different from even our recent ancestors in this regard. In other words, okay, if masks are bad because you're breathing all sorts of stuff that you exhaled that would not ordinarily be captured, right? Then living indoors too, right? And true. So and anyway, living in cities. And living in and cities. And going to subways and living around cars. and well, right. right. So there's like okay. a thousand things going on. And um, I mean, it does seem like it potentially increases the density 
um, rather a lot. I have you no know, doubt. If the mask is doing anything, then you're going to be sitting in your own stew more. I have no doubt it has effects, but the question is, um, as long as we're noticing weird things that we're doing to processes that you know evolved to function under very different circumstances, let's notice that actually we're doing that all the time on every front, and it's not good for us, and that's what our book is about. Yeah. And yes, this is one that we might ask that question of, but it's hardly alone. 